What is going on, everyone? Welcome into Big Time Football Talk. So I want to get into this. I want to break down the college football slate heading into this weekend. There's some notable games this weekend. Uh, starting with noon, Oklahoma versus Kansas State. Oklahoma is a uh, you know a great team with uh, Spencer Rattler this year. They want to see him uh, just continue to do excellent things. And uh, this will be a tougher matchup, obviously, than Missouri State. Kansas State was a you know eight and five team. They've always been you know a tough, physical, competitive program. So, it'd be nice to see Spencer Rattler versus a uh, with all due respect to Missouri State, a uh, you know a tougher Kansas State defense and uh, Kansas State. Um, obviously won or uh, you know won last year it was a big upset and uh, so to see Spencer Rattler first a uh, you know quality opponent see some of these young receivers from Oklahoma it's gonna be exciting at uh, at noon also the next game Florida versus Ole Miss it's a uh, Lane Kiffin's college football um, coaching debut for uh, the Ole Miss Rebels and uh, you know this is a very talented Florida team with a lot of high hopes uh, you know Kyle Trask is uh, one of the best quarterbacks in college football, you know, arguably the best. And, uh, you know, Kyle Pitts at tight end. Florida is always super talented, but, you know, now well coached with uh, Dan Mullen and have a, you know, high power offense and quarterback to go with it. So it'll be interesting to see what the Ole Miss team looks like under Kiffin early and, uh, you know, see if, uh, see how this Florida team, if they, uh, you know, start clicking week one against the, against the Rebels. At 3.30, we got uh, Texas versus Texas Tech. You know, Ellinger versus Texas defense. Ellinger made the claim a couple years ago that Texas is back, and, you know, it's hasn't been the case, but uh, this is an exciting game versus, uh, versus Texas Tech because, uh, you know, everyone wants to see what Ellinger does now in his senior year. Um, could have left for the draft, but, uh, you know, Texas has high hopes for this year, and, you know, Tom Herman has, you know, gave him that speech, uh, that motivational speech, and, it, you know, if people want to see – People want to see Texas back, like I said before when I did my Texas breakdown. That uh, you know, it's good for college football when the Texas Longhorns are uh, you know, good because you know that's that's an elite brand and uh, you know it's Texas football, man. That that logo is recognizable around the country, and uh, you know this team has the talent. Uh, we'll see where they go, and uh, you know, it's uh, they're getting into the conference conference schedule now, Texas. So we'll see what they do against you know a Red Raiders team that struggles. But it's very talented, and, you know, an offense is going to put up some points. So we'll see what goes there. Also at 3.30 is uh, LSU Ole Miss. It's a 3.30 SEC on CBS game. Um, it's been interesting to see how what LSU looks like. You know, I, I'm curious to see what, what the identity of this team is. You know, Miles Brennan at quarterback. Last year you knew it was going to be the Joe Burrow show. He was going to make plays. He was going to thread the throw the ball around the yard. They also could, you know, they also could run it, but they were mostly a passing team. That was really their identity. You know, just getting getting the ball to their athletes in space and you know trying to stretch the field vertically um, with uh, Jamar Chase and Jefferson. But uh, no Jamar Chase this year. No Clyde edwards alaire So you wonder if this team will be, uh, you know, start to become a running football team with. Uh, some of those guys gone at receiver, and uh, you got Chris Curry at running back, who's a pretty talented guy. So we'll see what this LSU team looks like, and uh, see if they, uh, you know, start to build some of an identity against, you know, a Mississippi State team that uh, people don't really know what they're going to look like either, with uh, Mike Leach heading into his first year with uh, the Bulldogs. And uh, you know, the next the primetime game is a big one. It's uh, the U. I want to I want to say Miami's back so bad, but you know this is a this is a telling game versus the Florida State Seminoles. Obviously, no Mike Norvell. He's uh, recovering from COVID right now, but uh, boy, Miami looked good against Louisville last week in prime time. De'Aaron King is the real deal at quarterback. He knows how to get the ball to his weapons, and he you know he manages the game really well. So I was impressed what I saw out of De'Aaron King. Cameron Harris is a, another solid running back they have too. And uh, tight end Brevin Jordan, I think him, Pitts, Fryermuth from Penn State. There's some there's some talented players in this tight end um, that'll be in this tight end draft class. It looks like in 2021, and Brevin Jordan, um, so far through two games, has uh, 10 catches, 170 yards, 171 yards, two touchdowns. It's a former um, four star recruit from uh, Bishop Gorman High School in Las Vegas. You know that super uh, talented high school football program. But uh, 
yeah, I think Miami wins this game. Um, this will, you know, keep them right on track. This is a team, you know, this is a team that uh, you don't want to play in the ACC, really. If you're Clemson, Notre Dame, you got to be kind of uh, weary of this team because it's a team that, you know, could just keep improving. I wasn't really a believer in, you know, Manny Diaz as a coach. But, uh, you know, this is a this is a football team that has recruited well. You've seen a lot of these guys were the class of the 2018 class that was, uh, I think they were eighth in the country, second in the ACC. And uh, you've seen this recruiting class has really shined. Um, a lot of these guys, Harris, Brevin Jordan, were four stars. And they're, uh, you know, really starting to show what they can do. But, uh, yeah, I want to talk about Trevor Lawrence. He really looked has looked like the sure number one pick. And, uh yeah, I'll, I'll say it too. I think he's the best prospect since Andrew Luck. And it uh, looks like it this year. Some of those throws against Wake Forest and the Citadel. I know it's a Citadel, but there was one where he hit Amari Rodgers in the back of the end zone. I mean, he's he's still making NFL throws. And, uh, you know, Clemson looks like they're on a mission this year. And uh, so it kind of looks like the Jets, Giants, Lions, Panthers, those are some of the notable teams in uh, the Trevor Lawrence sweepstakes, if you will. And, uh, yeah. Also, uh, yeah. So I'm just I'm just excited to see more from Lawrence. Also, notable game Alabama versus Missouri. Um, the SEC, yeah, it's the SEC kickoff weekend. So I know they're probably the ratings will be really high, higher than they've been for college football this weekend. So yeah, I'm just excited uh, excited for the action this week. Should be uh, should be a good one. So thanks for tuning in the clip of Big Time Football Talk. Till next time, peace.